Hi, welcome to your reading. Today we're going to find out how your person is feeling about you. So we have two crystals here. We're just going to call one blue. One is pink quartz. I forgot the name of this one. Oh my gosh, I bought it so long ago. But it's shiny and cute. So we'll just call it the blue one and the pink one. So choose based on your intuition which stone you're drawn to. And we're going to start with this one here. So the timestamp will be below for the next pile. But let's see. Did I say pile? <laughs> the next crystal. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Let's look at this person's energy first of all. What's going on with this person and their energy when it comes to this connection? Wow. <laughs> Page of Cups, we have Justice as well. There could be a Libra for some of you with the Justice card. This is definitely what this person does view as a soulmate connection. I'm getting the feeling that some of you feel a connection and you either know they feel it or you're wondering if they also feel it. And I'm seeing that they do. Let me see what we got here. What's going on here? For this connection there has been a breakup for a lot of you we have between the lines unexpected wow and secret crush so i am seeing a message here you're needing to read between the lines because i'm seeing that for a lot of you there may have been a breakup or you guys are just not speaking but read between the lines i'm feeling like your intuition is telling you something and you might be doubting it but with unexpected here, there could be a situation where this person does reach out and you didn't expect it because you do think that, okay, it's over. There's no chance. But clearly something's going to happen. But what I'm getting with Secret Crush is that some of you may also hear from some friend who has a secret crush on you or just someone you weren't expecting. All right, but there's definitely a message about you not feeling like this person is missing you, but they actually might reach out. What's coming up in the near future with this connection? This person, either you or this person are seeing things differently. I really feel like some of you are doubting the connection, maybe because of the breakup. Maybe you're just seeing this as, you know, we're broken up. You know, I shouldn't expect anything more than that. Some of you, okay? But we do have this Ace of Cups. So it's either you're going to see things differently once you get this unexpected contact here, or this person is now seeing things differently than, than the way they used to see things. When you guys did break up or stop speaking, there could be a Gemini for some of you. But it definitely looks like they are feeling the same. They seem to be feeling the same. There is definitely no doubt there. So let me see what we got here. Man, oh man. This message is clear. Someone is about to spin the block past returning. Yeah. You're not expecting it. We have spiritual gifts. I'm getting a lot of messages from the spiritual gifts card. Some of you may have some really powerful manifestation powers, abilities, because there's something, um, some of you may have some kind of way or some kind of, it, it's, it's almost like some of you manifest without realizing that you are manifesting or you just manifest very effortlessly. But there is some type of spiritual gift I feel, like I said earlier, your, your intuition is speaking to you, but you may not be taking it serious because it is kind of hard to take, you know, an intuitive message serious when you're not hearing it from someone's mouth out loud. You're just hearing it in your head. It's hard to take it serious. We have obsession. Someone constantly thinks about you. What does it say? Comparison, stalking, keeps photos and screenshots partner ex family friend foe or karmic so basically this could be anybody but it seems like there's someone obsessed with you 
I mean, it could be any of the, the list right here. The partner, the ex, the family member, the friend, the foe, the comic. Maybe it's more than one person, but there's somebody kind of obsessing over your pictures. It could be multiple people. Maybe people want your life. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, comedian. Giggles. Okay, so this may be someone who makes you laugh. This obsessed person could be a friend. I'm drawn back to unexpected. You may, some of you, what? This is supposed to be about how they feel about you. And I'm getting all these messages about your friends and family. Maybe it's something you need to be warned about. I don't know. Sometimes this happens if you, if, if your spirit guides really need you to be aware that someone is obsessing over you or doing stuff behind your back, then it will, it will creep in. So we do have warfare here. So I have to warn you, aside from the how do they feel about you message, it seems like there's somebody possibly obsessing and jealous as well. So let's see. What is this person's next action going to be towards the viewers? So, okay. I do feel like this person, they may have tried to move on. I do see them wanting to get back to a more calm place with you. And I feel like as long as they feel tension, they're going to come up as this king of swords because they are feeling like they need to guard their hearts, that you might not be happy to see them. What's coming up here in the near future? What is the mutual energy? High priestess is mutual energy. This is a spirit. This is a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual connection, and the three of cups can speak of reconciliation, reconnecting. So, I do see some of you hanging out with friends and talking. There might be some kind of something that is said when you when you do hang out with friends. Something that is said about your person, mentioned about your person, or. Them and their friends are speaking about you. But there is a lot going on here with this situation. Let me do a whole spread for you on their feelings. Okay. Show me this person's feelings. Show me their feelings, their energy. Okay, Seven of Swords, somebody pulled away. They are feeling kind of stuck. If this breakup just happened, they are feeling kind of stuck at the moment. And they're seeing you as the Six of Wands. You are kind of... Like they're seeing you as living your best life, being happy. And they're seeing the relationship is on hold. They're seeing the relationship as being kind of on pause. It seems like they're waiting. They could be an Aquarius, a Sagittarius, Pisces, Aquarius. I said Aquarius already. <laughs> but I see that they really do want a really good outcome. They are getting a little bit impatient. I feel like that surrounds the worry that you might move on. And so this person, they're trying to make a decision, but what's blocking is this King of Swords. I really know for sure that it's because this person is really guarding their heart at this point because they feel like they could get rejected or you guys could fight again. They definitely feel defensive and they're holding back. But their next move is the Ten of Pentacles. They may try to get more serious with you. Position of what you need to know is the Two of Swords. This is either your person um, at right, like right now refusing to see how they feel, but we did have the Hangman, so they may that may change. They may change the way they see things. But it's also some of you refusing to see that you may have a friend who is kind of fake, who kind of obsesses over you, wants to be like you type of thing. I don't know why that's sneaking into this reading, but 
it's like the universe is trying to warn you about a friend who may be like more on the narcissistic side wanting to be like you kind of thing so we've got the page of cups again as the outcome clearly this person has an apology for you this is the second time you guys are just on a break i would say just give this whole thing time because it looks like at the right time this person is going to unexpectedly pop up for you so you can kind of you can kind of just rest you know chill there's no really no real reason to worry but i do see that a lot of you do doubt that this could come up that's why the message that comes to you is unexpected why the eight of swords yeah they're they're kind of yeah they're, they <laughs> rejection is this person's fear rejection is their fear so they have these feelings for you but they're kind of fighting against it and keeping themselves stuck by not reaching out because they definitely think they're gonna get rejected that's what they think maybe maybe some of you are planning to i don't know again there could be a, a a friend or someone who has a secret crush on you who wants to make a move but they're afraid of rejection so that person's energy could be coming up as well why the star yeah they yes two of two of pentacles so the page of pentacles is about you know thinking okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna reach out then they change their mind like they they don't they don't follow through with their plan so that has to do with their fear of rejection that you can see here so then they find themselves just going back and forth like what do i do what do i say why the two of swords and the hermit Power. yeah there's something some of you are, are refusing to see you're not wanting to believe about someone who is obsessing over you yeah because you see the word comparison so that's when you have that friend who's always trying to compare themselves to you and compete but some of you really you may be really genuinely like they're genuine friends so you find it hard to believe that they they're not genuine but they could be a virgo for some of you your intuition when you when you spend time alone is telling you something and it's right but you you kind of you kind of doubt that intuition that that feeling that you're getting about someone why the page of cups yep this new start this person really has high hopes about this new start but they're just fearful you see because they're seeing you as this six of wands so you're like on this high horse pop in everybody likes you <laughs> and you know they're just keeping themselves stuck there's a lot of doubt in their mind why the ten of pentacles knight of cups they're just waiting for the right time. This, the four source keeps showing up. They're giving themselves time. They're thinking about this a lot and they're trying to figure out because this is in the position of their next move. So they're trying to figure out how to make this move. I would just give it time. See, page, not page. I call pages. Aces and aces pages, my gosh. <laughs> Ace of pentacles. So this is a, a new beginning that is more stable, that takes time. So. Give them time. Let's see what we got here. What's going on with this connection? We have yes, but. We have a heck no. Follow the light and yes. So for a lot of you, it does seem that there's more than one person coming towards you. Meaning that person who may have a secret crush and the person you broke up with or broke up with you. There's a heck no for somebody. So if someone's getting turned down by you. But there's a yes but and a yes for someone else and there's a follow the light so you know what you want and what feels right uh let's see what we got here 
soulmate recognition realizing that wow realizing that they're your soulmate or you're their soulmate you know we got reciprocity both of these cards one is a soulmate card one is a twin flame type card so this breakup that happened reciprocity is about kind of getting back together so for those of you who are doubting that this is going to happen i feel like it will happen and you're not expecting it you're going to be spending a lot of quality time together oh my gosh i'm stuttering <laughs> okay let me get a message from this deck the return of Aphrodite, temple, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, retreat, sorry, not retreat, treating as sacred. Where did I get retreat from? <laughs> Transformation. This is like the death card. So some of you could be dealing with some Scorpio energy type person. We have Aquarius, Sagittarius. We have Pisces. So I am seeing that you definitely are going through change or this relationship itself is going through change, but this person's feelings towards you. Definitely they feel like you are their soulmate, but they definitely are struggling with their fears of rejection right now and the way that they're seeing you because they're seeing you on this high horse and just living your life or just being completely admired by others. Maybe they're looking in your comments since they might be obsessing a little bit. But they definitely, definitely will make that move because with the outcome being the page of cups, this means they will eventually stop holding their tongue and speak up. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing for you. Feel free to check out the other readings on my channel if you are interested in collectives. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'm going to move on to the pink crystal. So for those of you who chose the pink stone, let's see how your person is feeling about you. Okay. We have liquor courage. We have signs and synchronicities. Regret. Ghosted. This person could have ghosted you and now they definitely regret their actions. Some of you could have ghosted this person for a reason and now they regret whatever reason that was. But with liquor courage, someone is getting the courage to text or reach out to someone whenever they drink. So you may have received calls from this person or you may receive a call or text from this person when they're drinking or this could have been you but let's see what else we got here when it comes to this person's feelings okay we have soulmates okay we have repeat after me, every storm runs out of rain. My storm is almost over. We have karma and health matters. It does look like someone is kind of really upset and not taking care of their health over this situation. If you look at this counter, well, this side table of his, coupled with the alcohol courage. So there is definitely someone who is not taking care of their health because they feel hurt. We have quality time here. I do feel like this person is kind of reminiscing on the time spent together and the fact that they may not have spent enough time with you. It's it's kind of a, it's kind of a like, don't know what you got till it's gone type of thing. Where's this person's energy at? Where's their head at right now? What is their energy when it comes to this relationship? This may have come as a shock to them or to you, depending on who ghosted who, who stopped speaking to who. There could be a Leo for some of you, or a lot of you could be Leos, or have Leo in your chart. We've got two Leo cards here. Someone's having to be strong through a tower moment, through feeling rejected. Someone is having to stay positive. This could be you or them. What's this person's next action towards the viewer? 
This person may decide to come at you with the truth and be honest. They may reach out to you with the truth. For some, for some of you, it's a situation where there may have been other options and this person is going to come clean and confess to their devil energy. But with this devil energy, there's definitely addiction involved. You see there's a lot of alcohol here. Someone not taking care of their health. There is some type of addiction or maybe someone in this connection is codependent and really... Um, takes it hard when someone leaves them. They could be a Capricorn for some of you with the Devil card. It's coming up in the near future here for this connection. In divine timing, there's gonna be positive change. I heard the word positive change before the Wheel of Fortune even came out. So, they are definitely going to take action towards you and it's going to be them just laying it out and being honest something they may have re they may regret not doing in the past but again if someone's ghosted then there's it's hard to kind of communicate if there's a blocked situation what's the mutual energy We got the fool. Some of you may be in a situation where you've both taken a leap in new relationships. This could be for some of you. Others of you, it could be that you're, you're both willing to take a leap towards each other because we do have the lover's card. So it could be a situation where you're both willing to go back into love, to jump back into it. But it's going to take some time here. For some of you, this may have just happened. So let me... Get your main spread here. See how they're feeling. Okay, how is this person feeling? Show me this person's feelings. This person definitely is wanting to work on the connection. If not now, then very soon. They are aware that it needs work. They may even be aware that they need to work on themselves. They are seeing you as a kind of a karmic situation or a relationship that is teaching them something. I don't know why I shuffled again. I was supposed to lay out the cards and I just like, on autopilot started shuffling again so let's see why let's see why that happened they could be a leo for some of you or an aquarius okay so position of what you need to know five of cups you already know i mean this looks very similar this is your person right here Definitely not happy about being in separation from you. But they are giving themselves time. They do hate the position they're in right now with this Nine of Swords. They are probably spending time at night thinking about this. I mean, here we go again. <laughs> this is this person. And they don't like this. Is like This is like very a very uncomfortable place for anyone to be. And they do wish to get themselves back together with this King of Wands. And their next move is this King of Swords. So this person's kind of gonna kind of turn cold and start, you know, focusing on a logical, the logical thing to do, which is pick themselves back up. So they may start to come off as cold. Once they get themselves back together because they feel like this was a painful situation for them. 
they see this as a setback but their feelings towards you ten of pentacles and they've also got the ten of cups both family cards both commitment cards happiness but what's blocking is the two of cups so i do feel like this separation is making this person feel like okay this is getting the way of getting in the way of this soulmate connection but i feel like they're gonna get out of this funk and decide to just pick themselves back up and keep moving they are going to be thinking about this a lot very soon but not in the nine of swords type energy so thinking more logically about the situation why the king of wands yeah it could be an aquarius for some of you or have an aquarius aquarius placement but this is them picking themselves up after this feeling of defeat the sun coming out for them and then being able to get up and go to work or get up and do stuff why the eight of pentacles five of pentacles yeah they, they, they're feeling like this relationship is going to take a lot of work if there's going to be change and they feel like it's going to take a while but they know that this is not a walk in the park here this person may be seeing synchronicities i am being drawn to this and this person may have some healing to do because 222 is about healing it's about that twin flame type energy where relationships start to show you what needs to be healed so this person is going through that and they're drinking and they're they're realizing okay i have this damage it needs to be worked on i feel like this person is gonna kind of set up a plan to start healing start the process why the nine of swords they want happiness ultimately ten of cups and the sun they ultimately want to be happy i mean everyone does but they're being faced with their trauma right now they're being faced with the pain if it's a ghosting situation you or this person has abandonment issues because now you're being faced with being completely abandoned by someone and having to realize that that may be something that needs to be healed goodness hold on cards are falling okay why the king of swords yeah they're gonna become very cautious and very like holding back putting up a wall and being cold to, so you you may find that this person starts being cold towards you some of these messages can be vice versa it could be that you got hurt and you feel like you know pulling back and just not opening yourself up at the moment it's like when a person realizes that they have a wound it's like okay it's time to it's time to nurse this you know it's time to take care it's time to do what needs to be done why judgment yeah this this they're seeing you as bringing their trauma to light like showing them what they need to heal like i keep saying so this gives them a chance this gives them a chance to heal to, to avoid having to go through this pain again why the five of cups okay this person may be drinking a lot they may be drinking a lot throughout this time like when they're when they're feeling hurt but they will stop this knight of pentacles tells me this is only a temporary situation like them being down or if it's you it's temporary there will be a moment of realization that it's time to do some work why the four of swords inner work 
tower moment, realizing that it's time for a change. It's time to get emotionally stable. Some of you may be meditating or your person may choose to meditate. They have the death card. They could be a Scorpio for some of you. But it's definitely time for transformation, maybe for the both of you. So let's see what we got here. We have unclear. If this is a ghost situation, someone is unclear about where this relationship is going. We have unlikely. So let's say you guys ghosted each other or someone ghosted someone. There's this feeling of, okay, this might be really over. I don't really see whether or not you guys get back together or not. I just see a realization. Regret in the past, realizing what needs to be done. We have the universe is on it and we have absolutely... So this is more of this is more of like a twin flame connection where you both bring out the worst in each other so that it comes out it comes to the forefront you guys can know you guys can know what it is that needs to be healed what needs to be worked on that's that seems to be what happened here we have karma we have soulmates could it be that you do end up together later on it could be for some of you, it could it could be that this is a karmic situation that leads both of you to your real soulmates. But let's see what we got here. Okay, interference, sadness, and grief. So it does seem like things may have been going well, and then something just happened. This person is definitely missing you. We have detached. They are going to become detached. Okay, this this moment where they do stay down and drink and it's like the end of the world, it's going to be very short-lived because this person, they're going to kind of turn cold. Whoever was ghosted is going to be the one who's, who's going to turn cold, um, dealing with it, but then they, they decide, okay, I'm going to go and heal because I don't want to go through this trauma again or be triggered. What other messages do we have? Endurance, keep going. So this is someone who feels like, okay, I feel down, but have to keep going. Okay. So we got some serious cards here. We have tele telepathy. Nonverbal non communication. Oh my gosh, I start stuttering right away. <laughs> Nonverbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. So kind of commun communicating with each other energetically here, knowing how each other feels while not even speaking. We have adrift, letting go, allow allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. So I do see that this person does kind of leave it up to the universe. They kind of just you know, let it go for now and kind of move forward. Maybe this person has a job that needs their attention, requires them to be ready and up, ready to go in a good mood all the time. We have sacrifice. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. So there's a sacrifice that this person makes drinking, which is the bad one. And there's the good one where a person decides to kind of just detach and focus on healing. But there is definitely someone needing to take better care of their health. And whoever this is, they're going to realize it. So that's for how this person is feeling about you. The feelings are there. I mean, the feelings, the 10 of... Pentacles. Feelings of the Ten of Pentacles. Let me clarify it. Clarify this person's feelings. The Ten of Pentacles. They feel like they put a lot into this. They wanted a lot. They wanted this turn, like they they had all, all these feelings. Why am I still right? Oh my gosh. 
they had all these feelings and they put a lot into it now they're kind of on the fence and they feel like they're forced to move on they do still have you on their minds but they feel forced to move on now i mean when someone's ghosted it's like what choice do they have they drink for the first part of it but then it's like okay need to get myself together and they kind of just with detached i mean they kind of just shut down they shut down here i want to get some more messages what's going on here this is like a very this is like a very like detached type of read because it's a ghost situation it's like somebody left someone and it's just like this person has no choice so there's no romantic love story here it's just release your ex the time has come to clear your energy pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you somebody just gave themselves in this connection and got hurt past life relationship you've known each other before karmic situation we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so now we have indication that they could be returning or you could be on ghosting them if you ghosted them but they if if you did pull away from this person and you decide to go back they are going to be very cold towards you they're not going to be the same person that you met because you may have triggered something in them and again it could be vice versa it could be vice versa okay but they are definitely thinking a lot about what happened and even when they pick themselves back up they're gonna have a hard time trusting because now they got this pain to deal with so it could be for some of you that they even sacrifice the relationship to go ahead and heal rather than go down the same path. So it is a sticky situation. Definitely a sticky situation, especially if they're an air sign, they will definitely detach if they feel they need to. So some of you could have experienced feeling triggered as well. It doesn't have to be just them feeling sad. I know some of you could be dealing with this sadness and grief, interference of this relationship, things coming up when things were going quite well. But it's definitely, definitely put a wedge between you guys. And I don't even know, like even if even if someone does return from the past, it's like, are th is this person going to be accepted? Are you going to accept them? Or are they going to accept you, whoever is coming back? Because the damage is kind of done. It's like, okay, I need to fix this damage. So this is what I'm seeing. We have Leo. We have a lot of Leo energy. We have Aquarius. Those are the main signs. I forgot what came out earlier, <laughs> but some signs came out earlier. But yeah, this is what I'm seeing. This person will get it together, but there's just a lot of regret of how things went down here. There's feelings, two of, two of cups, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, but there's also a lot of pain. So the fate of this relationship i mean it's like time will tell only time will tell this person knows at this point that there's something inside of themselves now that needs to be worked on some type of damage with this five of pentacles okay so this is what i'm seeing i really hope this was helpful for you like if you enjoy let me know if it resonates with you thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one